Millie Fleurs, Fleurs <laughs> Poison Garden by Christy Mandin. So, it takes place in like, every house is the same, the landscaping is the same, until uh, Millie and her family move into this one house. It's almost like Adam's family-esque situation, or like if you watch like, um, the Despicable Me Minion movies. You got Gru's house and then everybody else's house is the same. So it's like Adam's family Despicable Me kind of like setting. Um, and then her wanting to like reset up a garden that she had um, prior to moving and just like ew. like these ones are like teeth and then you got some pumpkins with like um, facial features. Um, and neighbors quickly disapproving of it. And her getting upset with it. Um, so her thinking of what to do. So like the next day, her giving her own kind of like tour of her garden. And like, well, first show and tell um, her things. And like her class eventually coming over to have a look at the at the stuff um her eventually going to um slowly but surely bits of Millie Flora's garden began to take her all over town something stayed the same but there was one thing for sure um, yeah. So, da da da. The yards that once were identical now sprouted unique personalities, making Garden Glen a truly one of a kind of place. Um, and then they're talking about staff dragons and spider plants. Um, In the author's note, her garden may not have been poisonous, but the story seeds uh, for this book took root after she learned about a very real, very poisonous garden at a castle um, of Al Alnwick, Northumberland in England. Um, so, there's that. But, like, it's a really cute story like oh you say um <laughs> you're a one-of-a-kind place but everything's the same so and being proud of your little personality and your little um your little garden situation but yeah it's a really cute story um i this was like an ebook from libby through my library uh you can get it physically, uh, depending on, uh, I think the li my library has it physically, um, but it at least has it uh, ebook wise. So um, your library could likely have one or the other, or get it from your bookstore if you do like to have like this, because like the illustrations are pretty cute. So yeah, they're pretty cute. And yeah, so. Um, Millie Fleuro's Poison Garden. Happy readings.